going on everybody? Burke Cullen in here coming at you with another video and this is something that I'm really excited about, something I've been wanting to do for a while and that is shooting a product commercial. I feel like I say this all the time, but for those of you guys who don't know, I co-own a creative agency called King Wolf Creative. We do a lot of commercials, music videos, all that stuff. And I definitely want to try and do more product style stuff. We've only done a few here and there, um, and I've definitely wanted to do more of it. So I figured this would be a great opportunity to get into that. So we made this little video for our friends over at Amherst Brewing to promote one of their newer IPAs. Um, so I'm going to show you guys that spot, and then we'll talk about the process and show you some behind the scenes from that shoot. first step to this whole thing was obviously creating some sort of shot list, uh, mood, board, if you will. For this one, I just kind of wrote a few ideas down in my notes. And then after that, I actually wanted to find music first. This isn't something that I will always do, but in this case, I did want to do this first because we had previously created a spot for Amherst Brewing back at the beginning of 2020. We actually went to their brewery, got a bunch of cool shots. That, that spot came out really cool in my opinion as well. But I wanted to find a song that matched that vibe of the other spot so we could kind of keep that brand awareness consistent. So my favorite music licensing service that I use is Artlist. This video is not sponsored by Artlist, but I am an Artlist affiliate. There is a link down in the description. If you click that link and sign up for Artlist, you actually get two additional months for free on top of your subscription when you use that link. The reason I like Artlist is because I can use it for anything. You know, commercial work, client work, music videos, not music videos, that doesn't make any sense. Why did I just say that? You can use it for YouTube, you can use it for commercial work, for client work in general, you know, real estate, weddings, whatever, podcasts, whatever. I have used other services in the past where I've actually had to have multiple services because this service only covered my YouTube channel and then, and this service I could only use for client work and whatever. So Artlist makes it super easy because you can just use it for everything. It's a great price and their library is phenomenal. Got the music done, got the ideas that I'm gonna do with this video. Um, next is pretty much setting everything up and figuring out what camera I'm gonna use, lenses, all that stuff. So we use the Canon C200 for 99.9% .9 of the work that we do. For this spot, I made the decision to shoot at 60 frames per second in RAW, so it was 10-bit on the Canon C200. You know, this, this product thing, I mean, it's been around for a while, but it has definitely become more trendy, and speed ramping is definitely synonymous to this style, and it's definitely something that I wanted to do. Focal length-wise, originally I wanted to use both the Sigma 18 to 35 for all my wide stuff, and then the Canon 70 to 200 for all my tight stuff. But the the scene was just very tight. It was small. We didn't have a lot of space to work with, and I just wasn't getting the look that I wanted out of the 18 to 35. So I actually just moved back and used the 70 to 200 for everything. And I shot all the wide stuff, if you will, at 70, and all the tight stuff at 200. May have adjusted the focal length here and there, but for the most part, I was at either at 70 or 200. Lighting wise, pretty simple setup. Uh, used the 120D through that through silk overhead. Used the Quasar as I guess technically a key light, but more or less fill. And then we used two Young Newell YN360s on the background to spill some RGB light. I did flag off this light over here so that the the light wasn't spilling onto the backdrop so that I could spill these green lights onto the backdrop. And then as far as like the whole silk setup overhead, I mean, if you're trying to come up with a budget option for that, something that I've done is just use white sheet. Um, I've seen people use shower curtain in the past. Honestly, anything that light can pass through that's white, you can use as the fusion. A light dome or a soft box is a great option. I just prefer a bigger, softer source because the bigger the source, the softer it's gonna be. So that's just, Kind of what I do is I try and create as big of a source as I can to get it as soft as possible. And then the only other tools really that we used would be the, the Lazy Susan, which is a great tool. You should definitely get one of those if you're doing any sort of product stuff. I'll leave a link down in the description for this as well. This one that we have is just one speed. I think there's other ones that you can get that have multiple speeds, but really for, for what we're doing, we only need the one speed, especially because we're speed ramping. So it doesn't really bother me. 
And then obviously, since we're doing a beverage, you have to get condensation on the can. We didn't have an empty spray bottle in the office, so I actually just took the top off of a, a Windex bottle and just sprayed it out until all the Windex was out of this little straw thing. And then once it was out, I filled up a cup of water, plopped that in the cup, and it was good to go. probably covers everything if you guys feel like there's something that I missed or you have a question on something that you saw in this video leave a comment down below and I will answer it to the best of my ability but until next time thanks so much for watching my name is Burke Cullinane and I'll see you soon